Happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. Coming in solution. Get out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss out on my awesome videos. In front of us, we have a Sanjin SG-108. This is an AM, FM, HD portable radio. You can find these on Amazon new for around $89 through a third-party seller. Hopefully that price will go down once Amazon takes them on board. I have seen these for $70 renewed from Sanjin, which is nice on Amazon. And of course, you can always get the HDR14 in black, which is $65 currently at the making of this video. So let's check out the SG-108. It's pretty much the HDR14 in a white cabinet. It's pretty much it, but we're going to go over it. It comes in a snazzy box. I like this. Got a picture of it on the front. The reason why I like white Sanjin radios, you know, they're fingerprint magnets, the high gloss cabinets, and the white does not show that as much. <laughs> so there you go. AM, FM, uh, the radio data service. There you go. Receiver with HD radio. A little illustration there. Their name. Since 1974. Sweet. Okay. I so can I get that close enough for you guys? All right. So I got some bullet points there. I'll try to cover most of it um, in case I miss something. There you are. Um, adjustable sleep timer. It's news function. Cool. I did not know about adjustable sleep timer. Nice. Uh, and there you go. So little things that I might miss on. Uh, it does have a really awesome alarm system, which I'll talk about. And some little QR codes. Da -da -da -da. Facebook, Instagram. Okay. Great, and their website probably. So let's open this up, see what we get in the box. Uh, this radio is cool because it comes with some extras. Let's see, we got the manual, grab it. We'll go over that real fast. Uh, we got some kind of probably AC adapter thing, toss that there. A warranty card, let's see, it says limited warranty. Um, sometimes it's 90 days, sometimes it's a year. This one looks like it might be a year. Yep, period of one year from date of original purchase. Okay, good. On their DT800, it's 90 days, which is surprising. Now, it comes with an AC adapter, which is great. Thank you, thank you, Sanjin. Every radio that Sanjin makes should have an AC adapter. Thank you. It's a good one. They put a ferrite choke on there. This is a switching supply. And they give you a really long cord so you can get it away from the radio. So you, it doesn't transmit RFI through this wire, which is nice. And you can get away from the, the plug itself. So, good setup. Glad to see that. I'll give you the specs on that in a little bit. Uh, it'll be on the port of the radio. So let's get to the radio. It's in a little white silk uh, pouch that they always use. Take that out. Here we are. Set that aside. Get this box out of the way. Yeah. Pretty, like I said, nice little box. Bad. Set that down the chair there. Okay. So let's go ahead and look at some of the things we got here. First, um, yeah, the manual. <laughs> Always fun, right? Now they have it on their site. So again, I gotta spend a lot of time here. Just gonna flip it open. See if there's any highlights here. Let's see. Just go through it. Looks showing you some functions there. Pretty simple. We'll go over those together. Um, so be prepared for that. Get your pen and paper out, take notes. <laughs> uh using the AC adapter, that's pretty cool. I believe the AC adapter does not charge the batteries, so it just powers the radio. Yeah, something to know. Okay. And uh, this auto clock set mode, which is nice. It takes its uh, information from the RDS system. There you go, setting the clock manually. Setting the time format. Scan tuning. Over here we have manual tuning, presetting stations, recalling preset stations. Okay, so there's a lot, there's a lot to this here. One section where I'm not going to spend a ton of time on is going to be the emergency alerts. Here's an interesting page right here. I'll just bring it to the camera. You guys can see the regions for AM and FM. And you can change those, you know, get those corresponding values when you do that. So there are the tuning regions for the different countries or areas you live in. So nice to know. Uh, it's the auto preset system. Here's the emergency alert. Okay, it's for most people. Like I said, I'm not going to spend a ton of time because I'm not going to set that up on my radio. I actually recommend people just get a nice weather radio that uses NOAA broadcasts. It's pretty your best setup. Okay, there's emergency alerts and it tells you the symbol and what it means. 
um, high radio shows the exclamation mark because it's not enabled. So there you go. And uh, more display mode. Again, we'll talk a little bit about that, but uh, in case I missed something. Da -da -da. Okay, so I think we're pretty much done with this manual. I, I don't know what this extra stuff here. Some specifications. Uh, I guess I'll bring that back up. There you go. Boom. For the radio geek in you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's get this radio. All right, awesome. So we're going to bring this down. Talk about dimensions. It's uh, five inches long. We're three inches high, and we have a depth of one and a quarter inches. I always like to do a little size comparison. Bring it back up. Uh, yeah, so your the radios always use CC Pocket. Um, it's a good one. If you notice, this H, not HDR14, I almost called it that, the SG108. If I call it HDR14, just bear with me. It's the same radio. Again, it's white instead of black. That's why I called it White Wedding. It's matched white case, same internal radio. <laughs> So we married the white cabinet to the regular HDR14 and got a new model number out of it. So there you go. There's the pocket. And uh, we got a CC Skywave here in the house. Now the thing about this is the Skywave is about as big as this uh, HD radio. If you look at that, mostly. I mean, the HD radio is a little bigger, but not by much. Okay, gives you general consensus there. And, of course, I do have a deck of cards handy. Always... Iron Man, he's the man with the master plan. He loves HD radios from Sanjin Land. Dun, 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 dun. I didn't do the Chinese sound. I just did a normal sound. <laughs> so there we go. Deck of cards. Okay, so let's go ahead and zoom in. Get up close and personal and go over some features of this radio. So left-hand side, right away, we got the volume control. Nice, smooth. I like that. It's not digital. It's analog. Here we have the headphone. Headphone experience expected to be very good. Uh, FM uh, is nice in the lows, excellent mids, clear and bright highs on the regular FM mode. When you're in HD mode, it gets brighter. All those tones uh, get uh, brighter, which means you lose a little bit of the low end, but you lose the hiss. The hiss disappears when it goes digital. So that's not a bad thing for some people. It depends if you're a purist or not. Um, I like both modes. Down here you can see there's the D, uh, DC input. It's uh, 5 volts. Uh, eight, eight tenths of an amp. Polarity is standard, I believe. Yep, center pole positive, sleeve negative. Nice. On the front here, I believe this is about a two inch speaker in there. It measures about one and three quarters, but I think it goes past it a little bit here. So there you are. Our uh, display, it is, uh, I think it's locked out right now. Um, it has two line. There you go, turn to there. And you can see it's uh, like a dot matrix display, which is really nice. That's how you get the letters. So right now it's showing the calendar date and the time. And exclamation mark means emergency alerts are turned off. So buttons, power, sleep, low battery indicator, which is nice to have. Tuning up and down, seeking up and down. Band select AM, FM. <laughs> it's two band radio, no shortwave. Uh, over here we have the info button. When you're in RDS, you can change your RDS modes. Of course, menu, I'll show you the menu feature when we get there. Uh, HD Seek, so if you press this quick, it'll search for HD stations, which we'll give a try tonight. And you got the APS system, so if you press and hold, it'll actually save the stations to your presets, which we'll also mention here in a moment. Uh, that APS system, uh, auto preset system, is kind of a pain how it sorts. I think it sorts from strongest to weakest or something like that. Uh, it doesn't short by frequency, unfortunately. Over here we have an enter and page function. So you have five preset buttons here and you have four pages. So it gives you a total of 20 presets per band, total of 40 presets on the radio. So 20 AM, 20 FM. Okay, right hand side of the radio we have the lock switch, which I'm going to turn off. And you can see it says key locked off and it's got that little amber backlight. I'll turn it on now and show you guys. There you are. I like that. Looks pretty nice. Sharp looking radio. On the back here we have a 25 inch antenna which swivels around. Nice. It doesn't quite clear the case here, but uh, most directions it's perfect. On the back here it has the information uh, HD range there for the FM and AM. And it's showing you the stepping for 9 and 10 kilohertz, which can be changed. Yay! And it runs on three AA batteries, which is behind, of course, a nice hinged compartment door. I'm using three alkalines at the moment. There you go. You can use uh, rechargeables in here with no problem. On the bottom is a flip-out stand. This helps if you are listening to your radio on a desktop with the AC cord plugged in, it won't topple over. And since it's already situated to the back, it's not going anywhere. That's a really neat setup. I do like that little stand. Get that back in place. 
So yeah, there it is. That's all the features. Uh, pretty simple setup. Let's talk uh, about FM reception report. I always like to give this. Uh, I do a limited FM band scan. We will do one tonight. Uh, so let's go ahead and go over the FM selectivity. So I sit down with the radio in the same position, you know, upstairs near a window to get the best reception from FM radios. And I log stations to find what I can find. Now, I try to do it when there's no tropospheric ducting going on or e-skipping, so it's fair for all the radios. This one scored um, 75 stations, which puts it in the good to very good category. So I started out as fair, okay, good, very good, excellent. Most old school analog radios, such as, I don't know, do I have an old school one laying around? I think I do. Here we go. Old school GE, this one gets an okay to good. It found about 48 stations. That's typical for one of those old school analogs. These digitals, they do tend to be better. Sanjin typically, uh, with their digital radios, is much better than 75. So I was a little worried about that, but the HD performance really blew me away. Um, so the FM sensitivity and selectivity got good to very good scores because it found 75 stations. When it comes to HD channels, I live in a, a rural suburban area. I don't get much, but the day I was scanning, I was getting quite a bit. And I got 27 HD channels on here, which I was pretty impressed with. They stayed locked in. They didn't fade and drop out, which is really annoying when you got headphones on. <laughs> Anybody that's using HD radio knows what I'm talking about. You listen to this beautiful sound, all of a sudden just cuts out, and you're waiting for it to reconnect. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. Uh, but uh, if you're in a good location and you got a nice strong station, that won't happen. But yeah, really impressed with that. So, great. Um, oh yeah, I want to mention also on the headphones, on AM, Sanjin radios tend to be low tonal quality, kind of kind of a muddy sound. It's a neutral to low tone, just to let you know. It's not the best listening experience on headphones, but it's okay. For talk talk and sports, for music, it's you're not going to be as impressed. Um, if there was HD music, it'd probably be better. So let's go ahead and uh, turn it on. And let's see, we got AM band. You can see how it boots up here. I'm pretty much going to show you what the menus are. So I'm going to go a little closer here. Turn this volume down because we want to do the FM. So I'll switch to the FM band and I will go through the menus here. So let's find a station that first has some radio text and then we'll do a, a little uh, radio totter bird. So let me see if I got any presets going on. So if you look here, the little number means page and the bigger number means preset. So as I'm changing it, you can see that number changing to the different presets. So there's a strong station right there. It should come up with some radio text. There we are. Gonna miss you around here, Iris. Olivia's best optometry technician is going <coughs> back to school. Did we get that new friend? Her eye is already. Now this isn't. This isn't an HD station. Ugh, we got RDS. I have to cancel appointments. Indeed can help her hire great people fast. I need Indeed. Indeed you do. Screen for quality candidates with the skills your role needs with Indeed assessments. Of course, that <coughs> mono will change the stereo when you're using headphones. Now, here's your signal strength indicator. <laughs> this is a local station. It's pegged. Um, that little spot right there is a threshold, and that's for HD. So, first of all, it'll have to be past that for normal reception. And then when it detects it has decent reception, it'll start to go for the HD signal. Then you'll see it drop down, and it'll start uh, going back and forth. And if it can stay above that threshold marker for HD, those HD stations will stay locked in. If that HD signal drops... Then it's like losing a satellite connection. <laughs> it just drops and you're waiting for it to reconnect. So there you go. Let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to fire up Radio Totterbird here. Um, and then we'll go over some more stuff. So Radio Totterbird here is transmitted on FM Transmitter 2 c 92.9 megahertz. I use royalty-free music with a little uh, MP3 player. It works out really nice. So we'll go ahead and do that real quick just for an idea of sound quality. Signal strength, awesome. Run this for about a minute or two.
So I didn't go through all the tracks, but there's a lot left to go over. So we're going to go ahead and just turn that down. So let's go to the menu uh, so you get an idea for the audio. I always like to tell people, check it out with other radios and my other videos. And you'll get an idea of the tonal difference. This thing isn't a monster bass like, say, uh, my Radio Wow. Do I have it handy laying around here? I've got radios all over the bench. Like this has a really low tone speaker to it compared to this. But when you got headphones on, oh, this blows away any of the radios I own pretty much. It's it, or it, it equals uh, the HDR uh, 16, which is, of course, the bigger brother to this radio. Uh, so let's go ahead and I'm going to do an FM band scan. Yes, I am. And see what we can pull in. See if we can get some HD stations and see what it says. When you get an HD channel, of course, it'll give you options. So I'm just going to pull this up. Pull this out a little bit. I have a little wire. It's a little 12 foot wire. It's in the inside of my window blinds. And uh, it helps me get a little reach out of my basement. Now, it's not a guarantee that I'll get any stations here, but it'll help. So we're just going to go ahead and do this. And we're going to turn this up. We're going to do HD Seek. And now it says it's scanning, which is nice. And it normally will stop on a station if found. I think it is finding stations, but it's looking for HD signals on those stations. So I know that oh, there's music there I can't hover on, but here we go. You got your information. WKQX, uh, HD1. So if you want the extra station, you tune it up. There you go, you got the HD2. So you can go back. HD1. Man, I want to hover on that music. It sounds good. <laughs> uh, so that's cool. So you get an idea how that works. Yeah, I'm glad I'm getting some HD stations down here. Now, I was upstairs and one of these stations had four channels. They had the regular HD and I was going through it at two, three, and four. Couldn't believe it. Uh, I think they can squeeze that in the signal if they're doing a lot of talk radio. But uh, if they have a lot of music stations, you will notice a lesser quality if there's four channels on the same frequency. Let's see, see what else it finds. That really jammed. It like surprised me. Here's another one. Uh, what does it say? Kiss. All right. Okay, so we had two there. Let's uh, go up a little further here. Wow, we're doing pretty good. Nice. See, this is great. See, I think the sensitivity on this one was a little bit better than my original HDR14 because I was a little bummed out. I wasn't getting stations. So there you go. It shows it three channels. If you notice, it has that little plus sign. That means there's an extra channel uh, just past that on the same frequency, which is really neat. And, of course, your menu. Uh, you can go to the frequency so you know where you're at. Which is nice. I uh, do like that. It shows stereo. Yeah, it does, tends to show stereo when it's on HD, even though you don't have the headphones plugged in. Okay, can't hover on the music, but there you go. You stay in Wonderland. This is K Love 2000s. K Love. Another one jams. All right. Let's see what it finds. Flash in HD. So, yeah. Like I said, I can't hover on the music, but okay, here we go. So this is HD1. It has a plus sign, which means there's an extra channel. Protection against viruses. Every time you touch a surface, you leave behind bacteria. Use Microband 24 sanitizing spray to keep surfaces sanitized all day. So here, this tells you what's going on. It's a sports radio channel. And of course, I'm located near Chicago, Illinois. It's saying Chicago. When used as directed, microband 24. Touch after touch, it doesn't give up. Well, according to research... Chicago's... Was that an E on there? <laughs> That's pretty funny. Okay, so there you go. You get the idea. Let's keep going. Let's see what else it finds. This HD is fun. It's working. So here we got WPPN... So that was just one channel. If you notice, when I went up, it uh, went away. There was no extra. There was no plus sign. Okay, let's uh, do it again. See so if we can't find anything on the lower end. And then we'll go to the AM band and see how that works. Okay, I think we're just going to run into the same stations we had before. Yeah. So 
Actually, we could do a normal band scan too. Let's do a normal one after this. So we're going to just stop this seek. Okay, cool. We're getting a lot of stuff here. So we're just going to hold this, get to the bottom of the band. It's going to stop there, Radio Totterbert, of course. Here we go. Hit songs from the 50s and 60s. The marvelous one. And motivate us to improve. Humility is thanks for deity. Oh, God is with you. And God loves I hit the wrong thing. I went to hit the Just info button. <laughs> Let's go back down. It's finding quite a bit. Life Talk Radio in Northern Kane County, McHenry County, and beyond. Cool. Had like a little station ID there. You're listening to an encore presentation of Take. Ah, I did it again. Okay, we're just gonna stay here. <laughs> it's by Andrew J. Graff, published in 2012. Couldn't participate, feeling terrible. She quickly went to him, but before she had reached him. Little Jason had come over and put his left hand into Johnny's right hand, and they did the exercise together. An incredibly warm feeling went through Mary's heart, and an even bigger lesson was learned by everyone in the class. G programs, we hear the thoughts of one young businesswoman about the dramatic events. She can't and won't leave. Also, we hear from Haiti, the aftermath of the earthquake, how the network of church assistance so important. <laughs> Bonjour et bonsoir, c'est Simon. Et Simon, c'est mon nom en French. C'est mon nom, mais c'est my name in French. That's where I'm from. Um, I want to start the show with... Um, a deep quote that um, a dear friend of mine, an English teacher who has uh, six kids, taught me English. Very smart, very kind human being. Uh Camp on Cincinnati with the Cubs! And right now, when you choose a Castrol Edge bundle, you also get Grind Boss Wipes free. So you got to wait a little bit for the RDS to show up, but you're getting an idea of what this thing does. This this is really surprising with this little wire on here. I'm loving it. Hey, welcome to Everything Outdoors. How you doing? Put up Let's get down. You want to try some whatever come ahead. the way it hurts. Test will be how many Sherman and Tingle questions can you answer correctly for tickets to see Saturday, August 21st. But, but that's okay. Every week, what a time and incline. God was shining on me. Now I can't leave. Gotta love it. Gotta day you home. Cool. Okay, let's switch bands. Let's go to the AM band. Now, I don't have any uh, stations here that are in HD uh, in my location. They turned off that, but uh, we can just quickly go through the band, give you an idea what this thing can do. Um, I will do dedicated band scans for medium wave, so let's switch this to the signal strength indicator. Oh, local time. As you saw, I keep showing. It's, uh, there you go. 11.03, excuse me. PM, Central Daylight Time, near Chicago, Illinois. There's the calendar, August 17th. Alright, so, signal strength. Interesting thing about this, if it's low signal, it'll go to like a lower bandwidth. And when it gets a uh, nice signal strength, it'll switch up to a higher tone, which means it's uh, it's like changing the bandwidth, which is nice. It's like almost auto bandwidth control. Five 
250. San Luis. KTRS, nice. Let's go to some stations we know. Chicago. It's picking up quite a bit. WMT, Cedar Rapids, Iowa. About close to 200 miles. That we're training to run that their first marathon. Milwaukee. Okay, so the signal improved. It was really quiet when he was giving the call letters, um, but now the music's playing. Look at that bar just slowly climbing up. WFAN out of New York, New York, uh, 750 miles. Are going to be going in your place, and I mean, it's. I mean, Here's Chicago, home of the Cubs, WCR. You can't go. Or Going kind of quick because we're running out of time. And we'll do final thoughts. The radio app or wherever you get your podcast. Fuel. It's one of the biggest expenses. That's WLW. Here's WOR. New York, New York. Satchy fog developing late tonight. The overnight low temperature, a warm upper 60s. Notice the tone difference. It was really low on that low signal. Now it's really high with this really strong signal. A slight chance of showers and thunderstorms during the afternoon. Zoomer Radio out of Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. Let's check on weather next here on WSB. I'm WSB So WSB is Atlanta, Georgia, 630 miles south. Morning, low 70 degrees. Detroit, Michigan, WJR. Hey, hey, welcome. This is the Ben Shapiro Show. The Ben Shapiro Show. Some of you who are actually kind for Dominic. I think you are. WABC, New York, New York. And I watched some of your competitors. Feel the Two brothers have been charged in the shoot. WBBM, Chicago. A former... Flashing HD. <laughs> It'll never get it. I've tried with the loop. It doesn't work. <laughs> this is a WGY Albany, New York. To Jorge Polanco, who fired it over to Miguel Sano, and they got the double play. So there wasn't anything. It, the signal strength here. And at that point, goes low. Bringing the tune. It could have been a whole lot more because it was two nothing. And it brightens up. This is WCCO, Minneapolis, Minnesota, 300 miles. And uh, we're almost done here. Let's go ahead and just uh, go to 850. And here's KOA, Denver, Colorado, 890 miles. And as you can guess, this thing's good all the way up through the AM band. So decent, decent AM band uh, listening in the evening. During the daytime, it does struggle on the distance stations, does need a passive loop, but does okay on the semi locals and vocals. So we'll go ahead and power this down. And yeah, good final thoughts on the SG-108. Now, the price right now, it's a little high. If you go and check out the links, I'll have them below in the comments section and in the video description. If it's 80 bucks, pass and get the HDR-14. It's the same radio. Um, I think they improved the sensitivity because I've never had it that good where the FM's just rocking like that. Uh, we were finding all kinds of HD stations. I am happy. <laughs> really happy with this radio. I do like the white color. Again, I hate fingerprints. I'm kind of obsessive compulsive with that. <laughs> And this is great that it's in a white cabinet. Uh, enjoyable experience. Uh, a very simple radio that works well. Um, it does have a little bit of a price point to it. So, yeah, if you like the white cabinet, just watch for deals on Amazon and see what happens. Uh, that's your best value for you. Um, get it under 70 and you're doing all right. At 80 bucks, you really got to want the white color. I mean, you're pretty much paying for the color at that point. So if $15 more is for the white cabinets for you, then go for it. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a big like if you did. Any questions, of course, comment below. Two, if you like Sanjin products, you want to see more reviews and comparisons, you know, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon, get notified of future deals, uh, and you know, whatever I decide to do. And of course, three, comment below. What do you think about the SG108? Um, do you like the white color? Uh, it's pretty much the only difference between this and the HDR14. 
Um, and a lot of you guys have the HDR14 and are happy. So, uh, yeah, I'm happy with this white one. <laughs> Definitely. All right, guys, take care, and we'll see you in my next video.